makers are opening their eyes to the problem of sex trafficking. Here's Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Palacastro. Bring back our girls. This message is spreading throughout the world and through the halls of Congress, where lawmakers say sex trafficking needs to stop. This chilling video is drawing a response from Washington. Every day when I wake up and I think about young girls in Nigeria. From Hollywood and the online world. Hashtag bring back our girls. It's not just a mission aimed at what's happening abroad. The horror of the Nigerian kidnappings has placed even more focus on those who force young girls here at home into sex slavery. There are an estimated 100,000 trafficked children in the U.S. every year. The largest group of trafficking victims are our girls, domestic youth. Something that definitely happens abroad, but it's also happening here in our own backyards. Olivia Burns is part of a human trafficking coalition. She's lobbying members of Congress, trying to raise awareness about domestic sex trafficking. We're rescuing victims and we're, you know, really making a lot of headway. The more awareness that we can get and people talking about the issue. As support mounts across the globe and here inside the Capitol, Senator Rob Portman is hoping to get more attention for the legislation he's pushing in Congress. Horrible for those Nigerian families and those girls, uh, but it has raised the visibility of the issue. More and more of my colleagues are talking about it. I do think the American people are now understanding this is a real issue. And by the way, not just in Nigeria or the Philippines or other places, it's a real issue in our country. Portman's bill is aimed at better protecting missing children so they don't get involved in trafficking. If passed, the bill would require law enforcement to update missing children records, coordinate with child welfare systems, and allow state missing persons units to update information to a missing child entry in the National Crime Information Center. We started a caucus to deal with human trafficking and sex trafficking. This is unfortunately a vivid example of why it's so important. Let us bow our heads for a moment of silence. So the outcry over the unthinkable is felt in Washington. And with every day that passes, it's bringing more lawmakers to this sentiment. I'm hopeful that this horrific example in Nigeria continues to raise the awareness and that we begin to take some steps. Senator Portman tells me he'll continue to push for more awareness and tougher laws to help keep our girls safe here in the United States and around the world. Reporting on Capitol Hill, I'm Jacqueline Policastro.